This lesson is exponential functions, uh, and primarily we're talking about uh, graphing in this particular uh, video here. The question I had sent in for me that was applicable was sent in by a guy named Gabe. Gabe said that uh, he's supposed to graph all these functions on the same graph, but his teacher, I'm assuming that's who she is, said that he can use technology and he wants to know what he should use to make it easier. And he's got one, two, three, four, five, uh, five different exponential functions he's supposed to graph here y equals 2 to the x, y equals 2 to the power of x minus or x plus 1, and then y equals the quantity 2 plus 1 to the x, y equals 2 to the x plus 1, and then y plus 1 equals 2 to the x. Well, Gabe, um, when I'm doing uh, anything where I have to graph multiple functions on the same chart, um, I like using the uh, online graphing calculator Desmos. Uh, it's uh, www desmos.com and it's free, doesn't cost anything for anybody to use uh, you can sign up if you want so that you can save graphs if you want to reuse them otherwise uh, you can just go in and use it as much as you like so let me show you how that would uh, how that would apply to your situation here um, put up a new tab and desmos desmos.com and launch calculator and then all you need to do is input your expressions over here on the left and you can either use uh, down here on the bottom you can use uh, some of the tools for putting in exponents and so forth um, you can have it show you more functions uh, in case you need to get into trigonometry stuff uh, here's how you put a number to a higher power um, you can also just use the uh, caret which is shift 6 on your keyboard and the number after that will go in for a power. So if you're taking a look at specifically the expressions you wanted entered, uh, your first one was y equals 2 to the power of x. So we do y equals 2, and then we do that shift 6 x. And there it graphs that graph for you immediately. Then you can just say choose an expression, type in your next one, y equals 2 to the power of and then we use the parentheses, and in parentheses, x plus 1. And there it's got that one graph for you, and that one's in purple. And it shows you the change in colors as it goes along, so you can see right away what, what the different uh, functions are. y equals the quantity 2 plus 1. And then that's to the power of x, so shift 6x. And that's our orange line here and so on and so forth. So you can go ahead and enter all of your functions in that way and then you can compare what happens as the numbers inside your expressions are changed. And I, I imagine that's probably what your teacher's real goal was, was to sort of give you some idea of what happens as different things are put in different places on this particular expression. y equals uh, 1 to the or 2 to the x is a very common sort of base function for dealing with uh, exponential powers. So she probably just wants you to see what happens as you change the numbers on those. y equals 2 to the x plus 1. And finally, y plus 1 equals 2 to the x. There you go. That's what they all look like graphed on there. You can run those through yourself so you can see how they work. And uh, hope that helped you out.